guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 638. Today what we're talking about is risk pliability. So often when we concern ourselves with risk pliability, we pay such a great amount of attention to risk extension, right? So this being risk flexion, this being risk extension, and we pay so much more attention to risk extension because it's um, it's so important in things like our lift, uh, Olympic lifting and front rack and all that type of uh, all that type of jazz, right? However, it's important to also not neglect wrist flexion. What we're going to talk about today is mobilization of the wrist into flexion, okay? And we're going to pay particular attention to mobilization of the joint. Of course, when we flex the, the wrist, we'll get some of that musculature that's involved in the forearm. However, what I care about is isolating at the wrist so we can get some pliability within the joint capsules uh, that are between the, the hand and the, and the forearm bones, okay? So I want to show you how I grab this first, uh, and then we'll go on from there. So if you look at the wrist itself, and we flex and extend, you'll see a, a very distinct ridge in which uh, that hinges over, right? The, the wrist bones or the forearm bones come down to here, right? And then the hand bones start over here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our hand in this in this cupping shape, and we're going to put our, our, our the web contact of our hand just like such. And then from there, I'm going to grasp the entire hand not down like this, the entire hand straight across. The thumb is here, okay? Now from right there, what I can do is I can use a self-mobilization of where I'm gonna just end up pushing straight away. I take this hand, this hand is as limp as it can be. I take that contact I just showed you, and I'm gonna end up pushing and prying. As I push, I pry downwards, okay? As I push, I pry downwards, okay? So what we could do is we could use this into a mobilization factor of where we're just gonna come in. We're gonna do about 15 to 30 reps, all right? I know that's a wide range, but it depends on how inflexible your wrist is into flexion, okay? So we come here and it look just like this. I come down and away. Now, what happens if we can't get enough leverage on that? Well, what we're gonna end up doing then is we're gonna use our thigh or our side, okay? Um, so from right here, what we can end up doing is just literally sitting, okay, um, with our with our butt bone, sitting on our hand like such, and then I could take my other hand, I could grab my elbow, and I could pry this way. Notice I don't have a bunch of traction on this, okay? When we so when we do these these muscle fascial mobilizations, we tend to put a whole bunch of traction throughout the shoulder, and okay, that's absolutely fine. But in this case, where we're just working on, on really just trying to get some pliability within the capsule itself, it's not, not, it's not as necessary to apply so much traction, okay? So again, palm comes up, all right? And then from here, I'm gonna use my opposite hand and I'm just gonna pull in on the elbow, okay? This arm is completely relaxed. This hand is doing all the work. I can do two things. I can mobilize for three seconds, three to five seconds when I do that. One, two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. Or I can hold a sustained pressure for two minutes, okay? You can take those picks, see which one works for you. Either way, the consistency is still the key here. If I do this once, I'm probably not gonna get that much success. If I do it several times a week for the course of four to six weeks, that's probably where my success is gonna come in. One quick note for you guys, start off with this one, okay? And the reason we start off with this one is it's much gentler. I can put a whole bunch, bunch more torque when I sit on my hand and pull that elbow in, all right? However, we probably shouldn't start out with the most aggressive treatment. We should start on that step down fashion. If that's not getting you where you wanna go, then we're gonna move up and get a little bit more torque and get that, uh, that, that pry, that wrist pry in there with our hip, okay? Guys, I hope this helps you out. And until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.